everyone, it's Miss Crystal from Way Public Library and I'm here today for preschool story time. Now all of the books that we're going to read today are all centered around a certain theme and it has to do with what's changing outside right now. Have you noticed that it's starting to get cooler outside and the leaves are changing and they're starting to fall? Yes, that's because it's autumn now. So all of the books we're reading today have to do with fall leaves and fall leaves falling down. But before we get into our books, we're going to do a little rhyme. So if you want to follow along with me. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. One last verse. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! I know I'm ready to read this first book. Are you? Our first book is called Mouse's First Fall. Written by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by Bucket Erdogan. One cool fall day. Mouse and Minka came out to play. Tumbling and twirling, fall leaves fell all around. Look at all the colors, said Minka. Mouse saw red leaves and yellow leaves and orange leaves and brown leaves. Pretty. There's a lot of colors, aren't there? Look at all the shapes, said Minka. Mouse saw round leaves and skinny leaves and pointy leaves and smooth leaves. Yay! There's so many different types of leaves, aren't there? Let's run through the leaves, said Minka. Mouse ran and skipped and kicked and swished through all the leaves. Fun! Let's pile them up, said Minka. What do you think they're going to do once they have the leaves all piled up? Mouse piled the leaves high. One leaf, two leaves, three leaves, lots of leaves. Yippee! What a big pile, said Minka. Let's jump in. Mouse leapt and jumped and flopped and rolled into the leaves. Whee! I'm hiding, called Minka. Can you find me? Mouse peeked and poked and peered between the leaves. Where could Minka be? Then out popped Minka. Here I am. Hooray! Hooray for Minka! Hooray for Mouse! Hip hip hooray for fall! The end. Mouse and Minka had a whole bunch of fun in the leaves, didn't they? They piled them all up and they jumped in. Have you ever jumped into a pile of leaves? Are you going to do that this fall? Well, I don't know if I will, but it does sound like fun, doesn't it? So now that we've finished our first book, let's move on to another activity. If you've been to a preschool story time, you might recognize this. This is what we call wiggle worm. So I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures. And then when we get to the little worm, I want you to get up and wiggle a little bit. Let's see what else we have in this pile. We've got a leaf. Oh, that's a really colorful leaf. A pumpkin. And a wiggle worm. A scarecrow, another pumpkin, oh, a leaf, and 
is a wiggle worm. There's a pumpkin. There's a lot of pumpkins in here, aren't there? And a scarecrow. And a wiggle worm. Oh, that's a very bright orange leaf. another leaf and a scarecrow. Do you think there's another worm coming? And a wiggle worm. Got a jack-o-lantern and a wiggle worm. And we've got a leaf. The end. We're all done with that game. And that means we can go into our next book. I think this one's really cute. It's about a fox named Fletcher. It's called Fletcher and the Falling Leaves by Julia Rawlinson. Pictures by Tiffany Beek. The world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold and the soft swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull brown and dry. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. Uh-oh. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it, his mother asked. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, she said. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day, more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off of a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. Don't worry, tree, I've got your leaf, I'll fix you. Fletcher looked around, picked a piece of grass, and carefully tied the leaf to a branch. Just then, another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's fur. The little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground. Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard. Then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it down firmly. Now you hold on tight, said Fletcher. No more flying around. The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. Uh-oh. I think Fletcher doesn't understand, does he? The most trees do you lose their leaves in the fall. I don't think he understands that this is supposed to happen. He's so worried. The next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare, and little lost leaves spun everywhere. Don't worry, tree, I'll catch them for you, I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves, wonderful, just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, bounding off. Help, help, the wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Leaves, terrific, just what I need to keep warm, said a porcupine rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles. Not anymore, snuffled the porcupine, and away he rolled. Help, help, the wind, the squirrel, and the porcupine are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Suddenly, a flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked up the leaves in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon the tree was leafy again and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, birds, thank you, he gasped as the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves of the sky and drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow and the branches still danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wriggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. A 
Oh, tree, I'm so sorry, Goat Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw, high in the branches, one small leaf still holding on. I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the last leaf and held it firmly onto its branch. All day long, the wind blew, the branch bounced, and Fletcher held tight. I'll stay with you, leaf, he said. Don't worry. But then, with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high. With a blip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in. But all night long, he could only think of his tree all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with a thousand icicles shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher, but are you all right? A tiny breeze shivered the branches, making a sound like laughter. In the light of the light, in, in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug. Then he went back to the den for a nice warm breakfast. The end. Little Fletcher was just so worried about his tree, wasn't he? But it ended up all right in the end, right? That's what's supposed to happen to trees in the fall. Well, most trees. Some, tree, some trees do keep their leaves. Now before we do our last book, I want to do a little rhyme. It's a rhyme all about falling leaves. We're going to have five, one, two, three, four, five little leaves. So five little leaves wanted to play and we're dancing about on a tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town and one little leaf went tumbling down. Four little leaves wanted to play and were dancing about on a tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town and one little leaf went tumbling down. Three little leaves wanted to play and were dancing about on a tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town and one little leaf went tumbling down. Two little leaves wanted to play and were dancing about on a tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town and one little leaf came tumbling down. One little leaf wanted to play and danced about on a tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town. And the last little leaf went tumbling down. We got rid of all of the leaves. They all fell down. And you know what that means? That means it's time for one last book. And this book is really silly. It's called Fall is Not Easy written and illustrated by Marty Kelly. Winter is easy. My branches are bare. Then snow starts to melt and springs in the air. Springtime is easy. Green leaves start to grow. Then spring rains are followed by the summer sun's glow. Summer is easy, just bask in the sun. Then breezes blow, blow cooler and summer is done. Fall is not easy. It's time for a change. Green leaves turn colors, but mine all look strange. That isn't right. And that's just all wrong. My colors won't go where I think they belong. 
These are some of the strangest leaves I've ever seen. Oh, my leaves should be fire, all brilliant and bright. I try and I try, but they won't come out right. And just when my patience begins to wear thin, my leaves all fall off and winter blows in. Winter is easy. The end. That's a silly little book, wasn't it? I mean, we had leaves that turned into a pumpkin and a hamburger. There are just some really silly color combinations, weren't there? I thought that was a fun book. Now, one last thing we're gonna talk about. Uh, right now, we are doing what we call craft of the week. So we'll have little baggies available at the library with a craft for you to take home. This week's craft, let me grab all the supplies. In the baggie, you'll find a little leaf, a craft stick, and googly eyes. So what you'll need at home is some glue and something to color your leaf. So you can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever your grown up tells you you're allowed to use at home, you can use to color it. I used crayons and I made my leaf all colorful and then I glued on the eyeballs and I glued the little leaf on the stick and now I have a little smiley happy leaf puppet. So if you are interested in this craft, the basic materials will be available at the library from September 23rd through the 30th. So you can pick those up to do at home. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story time and I hope you make a really cool, fun leaf puppet. And I will see you again sometime. Bye guys. Bye.